Hi friends, it's Maura Danielle. I came to do a read aloud today and I wanted to share a very special book, but I invited someone that I think you might know and you might really like to come read the story with us today. So we're gonna welcome our friend. Can you count to three with me and then say hello? Ready? One, two, three. Hello, friend, hello, hello. There he is. Do you know who this is? It's Elmo. Elmo came to read a story with us today. I'm so excited to see Elmo. He wrote a special book all about our five senses. Elmo, do you remember what the five senses are? I think he knows what they are. Do you remember? We have our eyes. We use them to see. We have our ears. We use them to hear or listen. We have our nose that helps us smell we have a tongue inside our mouth that helps us taste yummy foods and we also have our hands our hands help us touch and feel so elmo wrote a very special book about the five senses and he's going to help us read it today the book is called elmo can taste touch smell see hear Elmo, I'm so happy you're here today to share this book. Elmo knows what a nose is for. It is for smelling. Elmo can mm, smell nice smells like flowers and fresh cut grass. Oh, and stinky smells ugh, like the trash. This is a funny joke Elmo told Zoe. A nose can run but it can't walk. Oh, that's silly. If your nose is running, you need a tissue. Elmo has only one nose, but look, Elmo has two eyes. Eyes are for seeing. Elmo can see all his friends at playgroup. You know where else we can see our friends, Elmo? On the computer. That's really fun too. Elmo sees colors and shapes. Can you see the little blue circle? How about the big red triangle? What else can you see? When Maura Danielle looks at the book, I see a big yellow circle. And I also see a purple shape. Do you know what shape that is? It's a square. When Elmo looks in a mirror, Elmo sees Elmo. Watch Elmo do eye tricks. See Elmo? Oh, wink, he closes one eye. Peekaboo, Elmo can see you. Elmo knows what fingers are for. Elmo can touch with his fingers. Blocks feel hard and smooth. The finger paint feels squishy. The bunny's fur feels soft. The sidewalk feels rough and bumpy. Ooh, the water feels cold and wet. Elmo's body is covered with fluffy red fur. Big Bird has soft yellow feathers. Sometimes Big Bird's feathers tickle Elmo. Oop, then he's gonna giggle. Elmo knows what a tongue is for. It is for tasting. Juice and cookies taste sweet. Oscar brings his own snack, a sardine and jelly sandwich. One time Elmo took a bite. Oscar's sandwich tasted sweet and salty and ugh, yucky, but Oscar thought it was delicious. Can you make a yucky face? Like ugh, yucky, he didn't like the taste of that sandwich. Listen to this, Elmo knows what ears are for. They are for hearing sounds as loud as a shout and as soft as a whisper. Ears are for hearing music. Yeah, here's one more thing Elmo knows about ears. They are for listening to stories, stories about Elmo and his friends on Sesame Street. The end.
That's the end of our book, friends. Elmo, thank you so much for sharing the book with us today. It was really special that Elmo could join us. I hope I'll have some other friends come and join us for story time sometime. And if you ever want to listen to it again, just ask mom and dad and they can help you listen to the story. And maybe you could bring your own friend to read along. Bye friends, have a good day.